Hello everyone, this is your first week of virtual online lessons. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some activities that you can do at home to keep yourself active and to keep yourself occupied. What you're going to do for me as a warm up for the first one is you're going to go and you're going to run around your home and you're going to find 10 blue things for me, okay? Anything that's blue. I've got a few blue things here that I found this morning. I've got a blue hula hoop, I've got a blue bean bag and I've got a blue cone. And they're all things that I found in my cupboard. What I want you to do, every time you find a blue object, I want you to do five star jumps for me, okay? So I'll show you an example. When I pick up this cone, what I'll do is I'll do one, two, three, four, five. And then I can put this in my pile to add other blue items to, okay? Parents, what I want you to do is I want you to time three minutes for your children to complete this activity. Once you've done that, pause the video, go and get it done and then come back. Your main activity for today, what I want you to do, is I want you to find something at home that you can throw. Okay, I don't mean the dog or your siblings. What I mean is I want you to find something, if you've got a ball, that's great. But if not, you can use something as basic as a pair of socks that you've scrunched up. Okay, make sure you don't break anything either. I'm not taking the blame if you break anything at home. What I then want you to do is I want you to find something that you can have as a target. You can have a box, a washing basket, you can have a bowl, anything that you think would be okay. And what I want you to do is I want you to stand a few steps away from the box. And I want you to practice throwing your item into the box. Every time that you get it correct, or every time that you get it in, I want you to take another step backwards to make it even harder for yourself. Okay? Keep taking steps back until you're as far away as you possibly can be. And then what you can do carry on improving your throwing by doing it from different angles and different heights. You can even sit down and do it if you really want to. You can also get your parents to have a go to see how good they are at throwing. Okay? Something else that you can do as an extension, if you find that a little bit too easy, what you can do is you can ask somebody at home to stand facing opposite you and you can practice throwing and catching with them. Okay? Remember to use the basket that we mentioned a few weeks ago in PE where you put both of your hands together so that you're ready to catch your item. Okay? And make sure that you're not throwing it really, really far. Make sure you're throwing it just to where your parent or your sibling or whoever is standing. Okay? That's your main activity.